If you're here, you already understand the basics of quarter modeling. You understand that you need to have a center line alignment, you need to have a, or actually any alignment, you need to have an alignment, you need to have a proposed profile, you need to have your assemblies. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit beyond that. We're going to talk about targeting here. Um, so on my drawing, I have a center line and a left and a right profile in which I have some widening on the lanes that I need to be aware of. Okay, and I'm also going to have another, we're going to create a region in which I'm going to put a bridge. Okay, so I'm just going to say starting right here, let's just say from station uh, 500 to 800, I'm going to need a bridge. Okay, um, so to do so, uh, let's first create the, the profile, I mean the, the, the corridor. So let's go to the corridor, corridor creation. I'm going to call this one my main street corridor. I want to follow the main street centerline alignment. And I want to use the Main Street Center Line proposed profile, which I've got right there. And I'm going to use the basic road assembly. Okay. And that basic road assembly has some daylighting to it. So I'm going to say when you daylight, daylight back to existing ground. Okay. And I'm going to click OK. And for here, I'm just going to click Apply, rebuild the corridor, and then I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see that I've got my road going down the street, daylighting as it hits around there. However, notice it does not widen itself out until you hit the alignment. Uh, I, actually, it doesn't widen itself out all the way to the alignment. This is my basic road, 12 foot left and right. Like I said, um, I, well, I didn't say it, but like what I want to say is um, I wanted to have, for exaggeration purposes, just so you can understand this, and so it stays out of the way of the standard road, I've offset some alignments left 50 foot and right 50 foot, okay? So with that said, I'm using a standard lane right here, a standard LA and super elevation AOR. So let's go take a look at the help file on that. And let's explore what are the targeting parameters that I have here. And again, you got to get familiar with all the, the different types of uh, uh, sub-assemblies that are out there. Well, not all of them, just the ones you can use the most. But what I'm looking for right here is my target parameters. Okay, This right here allows me to widen out my, my road until I hit an alignment, a polyline, a feature line, or a survey figure line. Okay, I can also adjust its elevation to the profile of that alignment or the elevations of the 3D polyline, the feature lines, or the figures. Okay, watch this. I'm going to go ahead and widen out to the left and right. Okay, so I'm going to select my corridor. I'm going to go and select, uh, right click and select corridor properties. And when I look at, let me bring this into play here. When I look at my parameters here, there's my basic road. Uh, 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 region. The RG stands for region. And the region goes from 0 to 1500. I'm going to go to my targets. And my left and rights are targeting to the existing ground. But for my lane super elevation on the right hand side, I want to widen out until I hit the main street right alignment. I'm going to go ahead and click add and click OK. And then I'm going to widen out on my left hand side to my main street left alignment. Okay. I'm going to click OK. Now, I haven't set the elevations yet, the target elevations, so, but watch what happens. I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to rebuild the corridor and click OK. And now you can see that what happens is my road actually widens out. Let's go to the object viewer. Okay. My road is widening out at those sections over there where it hits the alignment left and right all the way. So it comes in here. And now it's got a default 2% cross slope all the way down. Default 2% cross slope because I have not adjusted any elevations whatsoever. If I wanted to adjust the elevations, let's go ahead and get a little crazy here. I'm going to go ahead and select my 
road, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to my corridor properties. Okay. And let's go to the targets again. And I'm going to go to the outside target on the right hand side. I am going to go to the main street right alignment and they have a main street right proposed profile. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in there and click OK. And I'm going to do the same thing on the left. So I'm going to come over here and go to the main street left alignment and do the main street, oh, sorry, main street left alignment. And I'm going to go to the main street left proposed profile. Add that in there. And there we go. So when I hit OK, and I hit apply and rebuild, apply and rebuild, and hit OK again, you will see now, I should have some funky things going on there because I did not make this perfect. Let's go to Object Viewer. Okay. You will see that I am widening out left and right, and I am adjusting my elevations to whatever the align the profiles are on the left and right. Okay, so I've got this funky thing here going on. Now I'll just leave that as is and we'll take it a step further. From stations f along the center line, from stations 500 to 800, I want that bridge. Okay, so I actually need three, three regions here. Okay, and now the bridge that I'm using, let's go take a look at the... Uh, where are you? Which one did I use? Uh, I did bridge and rail, and I did. I think I just used a basic girder bridge box. Let's go to those properties. This one, oh, let's go to the help file, sorry. This bridge, um, when it comes up, has all these settings in there. I'm not going to adjust any of the settings whatsoever, but I want you to see this. Okay, I want to keep the cross slopes, the default slopes as is, but what, all I want to do here is widen. But because this has a widening target, I have the ability to widen itself out to an alignment, a pot line, a feature line, or a survey figure. Okay, not everything will have a widening option. For instance, if you choose to use, let me cancel this out. If you choose to use like a basic lane, let's go back over here to the basic, look at the basic lane. Let's go to the help file here. The basic lane doesn't have any widening. So whatever width and depth you assign there, where is it? There are nothing there's nothing here to to target out to, as you can see. Okay. So with that said, let's go ahead and finish off our our uh, our corridor. So just be aware of the the type of assembly you're using. So I'm going to call this one region. I'm going to just rename the name before bridge. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and right click and insert a region after that. Okay. Right click, insert region after. And why are you, there we go. I'm going to call this one region, uh, I'm going to call this one region bridge, and I want to use the bridge assembly that I created. And for the bridge, I'm not going to, the only thing I'm going to change on the bridge, well, I'll come back to the targets here in a little while. And I'm going to right click and add a region after that. Okay. And this one will be region after bridge after bridge and that will be a basic roto as well okay now the region before the bridge will go from station zero to station five plus zero zero and then this one will go from station i can just type in 500 to station 800 and this one will go from station 800 to the end okay now you might need to put like a little gap here so this might be 799.99 or 800.01. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Okay. But as you can see, I've got these regions in here. So let me hit apply and rebuild the corridor and click OK. And as you can see, we have some problems. You saw those errors appear and I'm ex expecting those. Okay. So what happened? Two things happened. One, I lose my targets on the region after the bridge. And two, I fix the bridge widening. So let's go fix that. I come back over here to the corridor properties and for the bridge widening let's go to the bridge region that's why it makes sense to name these okay 
For the bridge widening, I want to widen out to the main street. Is this the right or the left? I think uh, we'll find out real quick. Uh, no, that's the left. Okay, so we're going to go to the left, and I'm going to change your widening out to the right. Okay, so that's just for the width as well. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. So I'm widening out to the left and right as as needed. And then for the after bridge, I'm going to go change my targets. And I'm going to change my target to existing ground. And then I'm going to change the widening factors as needed. Let's see here. So I'm going to go on the right hand side. I'm going to target to the right. And on the left hand side, I'm going to target to the left. And I'm going to change those elevations as well. Let's go to the, let's go over here to the right. Let's go to the Main Street right. We're going to go to the right proposed and Main Street left and the left proposed. When that's all said and done, and I hit OK, I hit Apply and Rebuild that corridor, I hit OK. And as you can see, now I've got a road in which, of course, i got to do some cleanup over there uh, around the bridge you know but really I've got a road with a bridge in the middle of it okay and then of course I got to control the the uh, elevations of the polyline or the center lines and so on and so on as you can see so um, it, but it does take some playing with to, you know to get this correct but again this is just for uh, uh, understanding and again a 50 foot wide road may or may not need it I don't know okay so I hope this helps let me know if it doesn't